Hello everyone. So today I have a, a bit of a bigger haul than I actually expected to have. Um, I want to show you guys what I picked up from the brand Givenchy. Um, it's a cumulative haul kind of thing. I've purchased products from different websites. I will let you guys know each and every item from where I picked up what. And I'm gonna start off with the main star, which is the powders that I've been wanting to talk about. So I have the the loose powders that Givenchy has, and these packagings look a little bit different than what they have right now available on Sephora and on the Givenchy website and any other retailer that sells these. These are just the limited edition packagings that I picked them up on. It was during some New Year or something that was going on. So that's why mine look different, but these are available right now on their website. So the one that is my favorite that I have been using the longest and the most of is the number one pastel mousseline, mousseline pastel shade. What I love about this is, so the way these loose powder work, everything comes here. You kind of like swirl the brush in them and then use it. It comes with a powder puff, which I don't really use. I prefer the, using a brush. So this is my favorite one and I will talk about it in just a sec. I also have number five, Satin Blanc and number nine, De Rose is what this is. So these are what I owned from before. Givenchy just launched a pressed powder version of these powders that they have. And so far these are not available in the United States. I'm very sorry, it's not unfortunately. But here's where I bought these from. These are coming to the US to my understanding. Last I was told that by somebody on Instagram that it was probably coming out on the 16th of March. Well, we're past 16th of March. I still don't see them anywhere. I don't know if these will pop up on Sephora's website during the sale. If they do, then at least you have seen these here. But what I did was I went to a website called feelunique.com. I do have a, a referral code in listed down below if you want to get a discount. I think I think it's a 25% off. If you click on it, you put in your email address and place your order. They ship the free shipping is free to the United States. I was very surprised to find out that anything you bought on Feel Unique, everything was free shipping and the prices for these are a little bit cheaper there because I bought it during a sale. They had a 30% off and I think they're still going on. I think the sale is still happening, but they do keep doing these sales. So I was able to get it for a better price. I also ended up picking up one of the powder blushes and a brush. So yeah, um, this is the box. I went looking for it. <laughs> I'm glad I found the box. The box for this one I can't find. So initially I had ordered this and the blush. I got the pressed powder, new pressed powder version. It is the same shade in the back, Mousseline Pastel, made in Italy. The compact version of the same exact powder with the same exact colors. The reason why I love this one the most, and it's my most used powder of all the powders, is that this is a very color correcting powder for me. I have some hyperpigmentation, and whenever I use all of these together, like I swirl the brush in it, I have been using this. I know you can't you can't see any wear and tear on these, but I have been using this, and it's beautiful. It works just as nice as the loose powder, which I love. And um, this is more travel friendly and you could actually put this in your purse. Now, I gotta tell you, there is a scent, a, a, quite a strong scent in here, but you don't smell it after you've been wearing it, after you've put this on. The smell kind of dissipates. But if that is a problem for you, then stay far away from these because these are heavily scented. These are floral fragrance scented. But the effects are just beautiful. The quality is beautiful. I think these are my favorite powders from now on. 
I'm gonna be using this the most. I do have other pressed powders, but I think this is my favorite. This does come with a little brush in here, which I have trouble taking out, but here it is. And this is the brush I have been using with it so far. It works nicely. So this is the Mousseline pastel shade. And I want to show you guys the other two shades that I picked up in also from Feel Unique. And I got shade two, Satin Blanc, and three, Voile Rose. Satin Blanc I own in the loose powder version, I think. It's number five, Satin Blanc. This is two, but it is Satin Blanc, and it is the exact same, I think. Here is what Satin Blanc looks like. There is a big difference between these two. This one has at least one shade I think is a little bit shimmery, which is not showing up on my camera very well, but there is shimmer in this loose powder. Whereas this is completely matte. And then the third and the final one is the Voile Rose. It is not as similar to the pink one that I showed you from the loose powders, but here we go, all matte. The loose powder also has shimmer in it. So all three here are matte. This is number three, Voil Rose, number two, Satin Blanc, in case you guys wanted to see the difference. very minor difference this has more pink in it this has more peach in it that's pretty much the only difference this one i highly recommend you if you are like medium light to medium skin tone i think this is a really good one i do not know how well this works on a deeper skin tone but for me i am i range between light to medium light medium sometimes i'm medium in the summer too and the loose powder version of this powder has worked out beautifully for me which is why i keep recommending this this is a beautiful palette and and i have dry skin to begin with but these work out really nicely for me even though my skin is dry and these are mattifying powders all three came with their own little brush to apply with but what i found is there is a brush to go with it i have never seen this brush before but this was on feel unique's website so this must be like a europe special because feel unique is from the uk retractable brush for color soft synthetic bristles seamless application so i ended up getting the brush and it matches with this perfectly look at that it's the same shades it has the givenchy logo it's travel friendly, you can just throw this in your purse. And it is very soft. I love the colors, it goes so well with my favorite powder. I can take this with me in my purse if I need to touch up. So these are all the powders. And if you want, let me see if I can swatch these. I don't know how how helpful these would be to swatch but these are available for you to buy if you want feel unique is in the uk but their shipping is free for us after a certain point i think you have to spend a certain limit so there we go all three shades there is a good range of shades though, just FYI. Go on the website and look for them and you will find something for all skin tones. They have like deeper, this one I know exists in a deeper skin tone as well, like the color correcting one. So make sure you check that out on the website. So these are the three shades. This one is the pastel one, this is the satin blanc, and then this is the Voile Rose. 
So I don't know if these are helpful or not, but I love the effect they give on the skin. There is something just really, really glowy and beautiful. I feel like I get like a radiance or like a radiant look, like, like I've had really good sleep kind of effect with these. And that's why I wanted to show you guys that these are my favorite powders. I picked up one of these blushes. I know these came out in the US some time ago, like last year, and I did not bother getting any of these. So I picked up one because these are still available on Feel Unique. They're not available here anymore. The shade I picked up is number one, which is Mousseline Lilas. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But I kind of regret this buying this because this is a this is not an easy to use or easy to carry blush i'm afraid that you're going to get all kinds of powder out whenever this is a mirror like here mirror here so if you are using it you are able to use this as a mirror there is a little puff included and then there are four shades of blush you could use a single one or you could use all of them, but it's difficult to get just one shade out, if you know what I'm saying. And what I'm going to do is I am going to turn this upside down, do this, see if I can show you guys. Nope, nope, that didn't work. All right. Yep, um, they're all like together. I can't separate the colors. So when you mix it, this is what you get. And the idea is that you can use your powder puff to pick up the shades and then just be able to do this. I don't mind the color at all, but I feel like it's not as pigmented as I'm used to. And it's a very messy concept, like the whole puff has turned pink and it's all on here. I can't keep the puff very clean this way. But in any case, the quality though is very nice, blends easily. I have used it once. I like the color, it works for me, but it will probably not work as well, as nicely for a very deep skin tone. However, there is a nice range of shades to select from, and these are still available on the Feel Unique website. So after getting these, I kind of went on a hunt and I decided to buy one of their blushes from before that are not available anymore. I don't know why. They're available on their website, but I don't see them on Sephora or anywhere else for that matter. So I got this one specifically from Saks, and I got two of their eyeliners, eye pencils, which are their Cole Couture waterproof eyeliners, retractable ones in cobalt and lilac. I have heard a lot about these from Tara Babies. Is it Tara Babies? Uh, another YouTuber, she she, lo she raves about the jade shade. Um, I could not find the jade shade anywhere. These seem to be sold out everywhere. I was able to find these two at Neiman Marcus and I ordered these immediately, but they are a bit difficult to find. The colors are difficult to find. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this other blush. I cannot for the life of me find the box anywhere. I think somebody has taken it. A certain one-year-old who lives in this house. <laughs> in any case, the shade I got is called number six Romantica. Made in Italy again, yes. Nice packaging. I love their packaging, I gotta, I gotta say. This is the little brush. It's a pretty decent brush. And this is the shade and I have used it. And when I look at it closely, it looks like it's not gonna be very pigmented, but it really is very pigmented. This is the deeper pink. This is like a peachy shade. And then I'm gonna mix these two. And that's how I've been using it is I've been mixing it mostly. 
This is the mixed. It has a bit of a lit from within glow going. All of their powders have that and it's very interesting. All right, so this is Romantica. I kind of want more shades in these. I hope they come out with more shades because uh, some of them were out of stock even on Ju These are available on Givenchy's website here in the US, but some of the shades were, were out of stock, the ones that I wanted. But in any case, I don't need any more blush, so I just decided to get one. <laughs> in any case, let's show you the eyeliners. So this is the Cobalt Blue. I have been using this. And then this is the Lilas, which I guess is like a lilac shade. They claim to be waterproof, and um, I don't normally like waterproof eye pencils because um, I don't wear anything waterproof on my eyes. I prefer it come off with the water and I can remove it easily. I don't like rubbing my eyes too much, but these are not a problem to remove to be honest with you guys. And the reason why I got these is my favorite eyeliner color is a cobalt blue. And the one that I used to love was from Marc Jacobs, which unfortunately has been discontinued. Their highliners, they had, I think it was called Into the Blue is what it was called. It was my favorite eyeliner ever. Now it's no longer available. I hope they come back. Um, anyway, so this is the cobalt shade. This is the pencil. It has a little sharpener, just like the Marc Jacobs one did. And this is, obviously I've been using it a lot. I love this shade. I like to do my eyeliner with this. And if I have a photo, I will pop it up for you guys to be able to see what the color is like. It is a nice bright blue, which is what I like. I don't want it to be very, very dark blue. I don't want it to be a turquoise blue. I kind of want it to be this blue. And then this is the lilac shade. I haven't used this one yet. It's new and this is how it looks when it first comes out. Not like the messy blue one I showed you. This is the lilac. It's a very pretty, it's like a dusty lilac when I look at it in person. So beautiful, it's a beautiful shade. I'm kind of looking forward to using this. This is a retractable pencil, so it comes out and goes back in. And if you wanted to get it a little bit sharper, you could use this little sharpener here. In any case, that's everything I have. Oh wait, no, there is one more thing. No, I think that's, can't speak. Anyway, that's everything I have from my Givenchy haul. I am actually planning on getting something more from this brand. Um, their lipsticks on um, during the Sephora sale. Maybe I might get one or two. I will share with you guys what I do get. Let me know in the comments down below what are you guys getting for your Sephora sale if there is anything that's already sitting in your cart because I know I have some stuff in my cart already. If you would like to know my recommendations on the Sephora sale or what I have in my cart or what I recommend, please let me know in the comments down below. I would have a lot of fun making that video. Until next time, this is Amira signing off. Bye!